Okay, everybody, I think we are on. I did have a window just saying that it wasn't going to be live, but I'm hoping that we are. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let me introduce myself. My name is Urban Rue of UrbanRue.com. I'm going to be showing you exercises to relieve lower back pain. As many of us may have jobs where we're either at a computer desk, not very active, or having to drive just to get to your job, and then drive back home long distance. So a lot of community. And then when you come home, you sit, you want to eat, and you sit in front of your TV. So now you're doing more sitting. So the more we sit and the more we're not moving, the more our muscles will tend to tighten up. So we want to make sure that we stretch out our back muscles and be able to stretch out our hips as well to open those up. So I'm going to be doing, showing you different exercises that will help you with your lower back pain. So I have a couple different things here to show you. You can use a chair as well. I have an exercise ball, or also known as a stability ball. And then I also have a foam roller, which is this exercise tool right here. This works great for some myofascial release with some deep tissue. And the exercise ball can be used in replacement of a chair. Now, you can, if you're working at a desk, maybe you want to be able to sit on this ball. As you're also, as you're sitting on it, you got to keep your posture nice and tall, okay? And you want to keep your core engaged. So this is something to keep in mind at home in front of your computer desk. Try to use one of these to be able to use in replacement of your chair. Okay, so what we're going to do use also a mat. I'm on a yoga mat. Use a blanket or just an open space. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to be in a table position first. So make sure you don't have any problem with your knees. If you do, be sure to keep the weight off it or where it breaks. Okay, you're going to be listening to your body move throughout these exercises as much as you can to take these exercises at your own risk. Okay, so your hands are under your shoulders, your knees. Or on your hips and your back is flat. Now we're going to inhale, we're going to exhale up the spine and we'll be cat, tuck the hips under, into the chest, long to the arms. We're going to inhale, reverse. Tilt the hips up, we look up. We try to bring our abdominals toward the ground. Droop in the lower part of your back as your hip, hips are tilted up. Exhale, we go back to cat. Now you try to draw your navel under your ribs and toward your spine. You're hollowing out your stomach. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, back to cat. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, back to cat. Okay. One more time, reverse. Okay, our reverse cat or cow pose. What we're going to do next is a downward facing dog. So we're curl the toes under. We're going to lift our knees up and push back against our hands. Drive our heels in toward the ground. Pushing back against your hands and try to keep the back flat. Okay, push back against your thumbs, your index fingers. You try to turn your elbows out while you put your shoulder blades close together. Continue to breathe. Now your knees can be slightly bent if you feel your hamstrings are pretty tight. But you're trying to flatten your low back by tilting the hips. And just breathe. Stop the alignment and turn your head up to your tailbone and you'll keep back to the flat. And this inhale and back down. Then you can also lift the heel and lower it and lift your off in the foot. Pushing back with your hand as you breathe. In, out. Getting strong as you push back with your hand. 
Great job. We're going to slow the movement down with your feet. We're going to go ahead and lower those knees down. Now let's have our knees about as wide as our mat. Let's flatten out our feet. Have our big toes touch behind us. We then push our hips back to the heel. Now try to bring your head to the mat. Okay, so with your arms out in front, rest your head to the mat. Now if this is too difficult for you to bring your head to the mat, fold your arms and let your head rest to your hands, or stack your fists and let your head rest to your hands. Continue to breathe in and out. Relax and let you stretch. Your blood goes out and comes back to the K2. Move deeper into the stretch of the heel. You're also going to stretch your back muscles right here along the side, your lat muscles. Along with the triceps. Here we're going to inhale and come up to your forward stable position. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take our right leg back and keep it as straight as we can. Now flex your foot, so your toes are trying to reach for your knees. Then we take the left arm out in front. We bring the knee. Try to focus on something. Maybe look in the front of you. About 12 inches in front of your hand. Pass your tight. We're going to inhale. We're going to exhale over the arm and the leg down. Then we're going to change sides. Now, left leg goes back and keep it straight to the, the foot flex. Your right arm reaching out in front. Now, your left hand can be slightly in front of that shoulder. Your right arm is just far in front of you. Keep that left leg straight. So you get a good stretch in your hamstring. You're doing great. Good job. Trying to stay balanced and focus on something. You're going to lower the arm and the leg down. You're going to say, okay, now this time we're going to take the right leg back. Left arm out in front, holding hand for a few breaths while you just sit. Feeling good. Okay, so next move is we're going to lower the left arm down. Is that right leg staying up? If you need to bring the toes to the ground, go ahead and do so. Because the next move we're going to do is turn to the left, right, and raise that arm up high. Try to line up the hands or your shoulders and look like it's your thumb. And you keep your right leg up, get that foot flexed. Breathing in and out. If you feel you need to put the right foot on the ground, you can do that. Okay? Just trying to keep your balance. Concentrate and keep that right leg straight. And exit down. Okay, now as we inhale, we're going to exhale, bring the arm and the leg down. Okay, we're going to mirror the image. Take it back with that left leg. Your right arm to reach out in front first. I like to have my right foot flat to the ground. You could curl the toe under. But I find more balance with the flat. That's up to you, personal preference. Right arm reaching in front. Ab tight. Breathe. Take the inhale and exhale. Bring that right arm down. Lift up the left. Keep the left leg up. Look it up at our hands. And reach through our fingertips. Look up that thumb as we breathe. In and out. As we inhale, let's exhale, bring the leg down, along with the left arm as well. And let's have our knees apart, resting back to our child's pose. Nice inhale and exhale. Okay, we're going to bring the knees back down. Our hips, walk the hands back as we roll up to our spine. 
shoulders back and down, head up last. Now our hands, let's put our fists together. You'll notice two fists, the width. We're going to place those between our knees. As we do place them between the knees, when we lift our hips up, our, hips, our knees are now in line with those hips. Okay, so now what you can do is we're going to go into reverse bending. So we're going to put the hands in the low back. The fingertips are pointing down. Shoulders are back. As we inhale, we're going to exhale, push the hips forward, but we're going to lean back and press into the ground with our feet. Contracting the muscles in your hamstrings, your, your quadriceps, your thighs, and your abdominals. Let your head drop back, which is make your shoulder blades close together so your head rests on your trapezium muscle in the upper back. Just breathe. Okay, we're going to inhale, come up. Release, okay? So now what we're going to use a different variation of that same exercise. So if you have any pain in your lower back, Stay at that version or that variation that I just showed you. So this one is with the arms up. Our arms are going to reach up high. Long side of our ears as we inhale. We're going to exhale, we lean back. Keep the muscles contracted and the body to breathe. Chest lifting up, hips forward. Arms along side the ears, reaching through the fingers as we breathe. Good. And we inhale, come up. Exhale, lower the arms. Now we're going to bring our knees back under our hips. Get back into our heel. We're going to bring our head to rest off the ground. Okay, so we're going to roll down through the chin. And down to the vertebrae. Pulling up, resting next to your feet. And rest to your forehead. Let your shoulders move in toward the ground. Continuing your breath in and out. Relaxing with each breath. Now you can slow down your heart rate with the chain hang on that tail. Now, so now we hands in the hand. We exhale, lift our hips up to bring us to the top of the head. Now, as you keep in blue, lift your hands up high. You can stretch to the middle and roll back. Now, with the upper back, the shoulders are moving down. Release our hands and lower our hips, resting back to our child and look at the palm of the next to our feet. So now we're going to bring on that front of us, as before, and get to our short table. Our back knee flat. Now we're going to stretch out our hips. Those are the muscles up above the thigh, around the thigh. Now we're going to bring our left hand next to the right. We're going to bring the hip leg up. As we go forward with the hips, you want to make sure you get a good stretch and not sliding back. So you're resting to the top of the foot. Now your left knee is over your right knee. Okay? You're going to stretch in your glutes and your hamstrings as well. We're going to also walk your hands out in front as we lower the chest. Now, relax with that left. Try to keep that left knee above over the shoulder. Let's walk our hands back. Great. Both hands to our left knee. Come up. The torso is going to be vertical. Okay. So straight up and down. That's it. Move with the hip so we feel the stretch in the right leg. Okay, so we continue to do so. Let's reach up with the right arm and the left arm. Gently lean back. You reach your arms behind you. Continue to breathe. 
Okay, now as we inhale, we're going to actually walk the hands out in front. We lower our torso down and we're going to hold the arms on the mat. Or you hold your arms in a direct hold the on your hand. Continue with your breath. So now what we're going to do is we're going to undo our arms, place our hands underneath our shoulders as our arms we left our torso. So now we're going to sit over to the right side with our hip. Now, if it bothers your knee, you're walking to straighten your right leg out. Okay, but what we're going to do is go into a big twist. We're going to like put the foot right here next to the outside of your right knee. So that foot is there. Now we're sitting with both hips down. Our right foot is next to that left hip. You're nice and tall. We're going to put the right hand behind us. We have a small more back. We're nice and tall through the spine. Left arm is your leg. Okay, we turn with the exhale and move over the shoulder. Try to move your eyes far to the right side. Keep the crown of your head back on your spine. Okay, now we're going to turn to the other side as we exhale as we bring our right arm to wrap on the left leg. Left hand drum, you make a small bar back or on your fist if you'd like, and we turn with the exhale. Feel over that shoulder. If you're able to, you're welcome to put your right elbow to the outside of your knee. And then you go over your shoulders, you turn. Relax with your breath. Okay, we're going to release with our right so we come back to the center. Now with this left leg, let's take it and place that leg on the ground. So it's going to look like this. So stay where you are, but what I'm going to do is turn. You can see what I'm doing. So here, our right foot is still in for the ground, but now our left knee is down onto the ground. And you'll notice that my left foot is near the hip. Okay, so now is what we're going to do. We're set up tall, we're going to just hold forward. Let your hand rest to your hand. And just breathe in and out. So you feel that stretch. Make sure you're not feeling any pain in your knees. You just relax with each breath so that way you stretch your muscles and visualize that breath going to your muscles. Hands under our shoulders and push our torso up. Bring it back. So, where I went before, which means now we're going to go ahead and keep this right foot in to our left thigh with that left leg straight. You reach the arms up high as we inhale. Pulls them forward as we exhale. I like to cross the hands over so that this way when I grab my left, the inside of my left foot with the left hand. Real nice stretch on the low back, and then the right hand is just the outside of your left foot. And you keep the right leg moving down as you breathe. Try to keep your legs straight as you can. If your hamstring is tight, you can, it's okay to put it down your neck. You can put flex in towards your knee.
Okay. The hold of your left leg with your hand. Because under it, you might fall on the ground. And then turn to the right and you turn up. Open up the thumb. Keep your right leg moving down. Okay, now we're going to take the right arm and reach out over the left foot. You bring your right shoulder back. Like you're trying to bring your right shoulder to you try to bring that wall up, right in the back. You feel a deeper stretch going on your right side here. Right here. Side of your torso, right inside on the side of your hip. Breathe and relax. Okay, now we're going to release our left hand off the leg as we inhale and come up. We put that right hand behind us near the small and top of the spine. The left hand goes to the right leg. Just left foot flex. We turn with the exhale from the little of the right to the corner. So, the eyes will be far to the right. Continuing to breathe. Straighten this leg. We still have the other side to do. So we did a lot of exercising or stretching for that one side of the body, but we will come back to the other. So here's what we're going to do. Reach up high with the arms and the head. We're going to receive your forward band. Leg can be bent or straight leg can pull forward as we exhale, holding onto your leg we can. Lean over them, but keep the back flat. Keep your feet flat. Relax and take a breath. Walk and lower your head, ear to your shoulder, chin to your chest, ear to your shoulder, chin to your chest. Slowly move it down with your head. You come up with a flat back, or you can roll up through your spine, back into the vertebrae. Okay, we're going to do the other side. So it's going to swing the legs back around. We bring them underneath us. So this way, we're back to the table. Okay, so Curling the toes under as we inhale. We're going to lift up the exhale and push back into the hand. You can do that. Back is more, more flat. Especially if you tilt your hips up toward the sky. And we're going to do the other side with that fire hydrant. Right push the right foot next to your left. Left leg goes up. Then keep it straight as you can for a few breaths. Arms are strong and straight. Push it back with your hands. Let's bend this leg and bring it way over to the right. Continue to breathe and in and out. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to move in the back. Exhale, bring both knees down. Slide our left hand behind our left hand. Cross it if you wish to the right side. If it's okay, if it's not really bothersome for your knee, just keep that foot below your left hip. Yep. Slide the right leg way back there. Shoulders are up, back and down, torso vertical, looking up. We breathe, lift your left our chest, arms are straight. Hands out in front, lowering our head onto our hands. 
for the orange to make shot in front. We're going to activate the breath. Down. Keep that left leg moving down. 
And you see your fingers, which keep you very close to the fire. And then we're bring the body up. Let's put that left hand behind us on the ground. Turn in this different direction, so maybe you're mirroring my image, maybe you're not. Just follow the verbal cues as best you can. Left hand goes to the right hand goes to your left knee. And we turn to the left as we look over that shoulder. Your tall and turn to put pressure with your arms into your legs. Shoulders are back and down, chest up as you breathe. You move your time with your legs up and down, and set your hips. Okay, so we slow that down. We're going to move our torso forward and through. So we bring the belly in toward the heel, and our nose going past our toes. So we use your arms to press those legs down. Relax and deep breath. Reverse it as we inhale, as we throw the hands up, we're looking up. The dong will drop in from the ground. Exhale back to our cat. Inhale, reverse it. And back to our cat one more. Last time, let's reverse it. Good, neutral position. Now, we're going to go ahead and rest on our stomach, and I'll show you a prone, a few prone exercises. So, we've got flat on the stomach, so we'll have a strength in the low back to come down. Put so your hands next, arms next to you, your hands are under your shoulders, and you inhale, and then do some Superman. So, as you exhale, tighten the abs. And we lift our legs and our chest up and the arms. They're looking down. You're trying to keep carrying your head and your spine. So you're not putting pressure in the cervical part of your neck. Now they're able to lower as we inhale. And exhale, we lift. Abs are tight. Legs are lifting. Chest is lifting. Inhale down. Again, exhale with them. Inhale down. Again, last one, we exhale with. Inhale this. Hands are over to this. If you have any problem with that lower back, just rest your forearm. You want to modify cobra with the inhale. Chest looking up, keep the feet pointing back. So, this is a great stretch for your abdominals as you try to lift. Really get a good sense. Turn the turn around and stay up here with your the muscles in front of your torso. If you're okay with this, is a modified cobra. Now, if you'd like to do it with a little more challenge. Your hands are under your shoulders as you inhale. 
Feet flat to the ground. We exhale, we lift our chest. Hips stay down, shoulders are back down. Breathing it out. Our hips up. And have the knees wider than our hips. Let's press back to our heels with them. And the arms are reaching the butt, relaxing at the breath. For a cable. Okay. Jason moves with this here in just a moment. So what we're going to use is this ability ball. So let's go ahead and bring our stability ball close to us. Move my ground a little bit. Adjust it. So what we're going to do is we're going to rest on our back. Okay, so your right leg straight, straight out on the ground. Use your chair, same thing. And just press that leg on top of your chair. You can lean over your hip. And let your arms rest the next few as you breathe. So keep your low back pressing to the ground. Okay, now stay here for 30 seconds or two minutes. Shoulders roll away from the ears, your head is lifting and then back down. Notice how long we come up with the neck. Okay, now we rise in with the inhale, all in with your exhale. Switch legs, take the right leg to be on top of the ball, left leg on the ground, and then next to the ball. Breathe in and out. Can place both legs on top of this ball, or you're shooting back out. You just relax with your breath. You always want to be conscious of pressing that low back and put in that. A nice little tilt with your hips to help you bend down. So that's one way to use the ball for some relaxation. Now as we come up, a nice stretch to use with an exercise ball is to lean over it and let your torso sink down, let your legs sink down. Now well, that's a great stretch for your back. Shoulders are back and down, that's kind of, yeah. 
black. And we're going to take a step forward with our left leg. Right forward back. Put your foot still for you. Where to go? For your body. Left, left arm onto our thigh, or the arm inside your leg, if you wish. Your right arm reaching up to the sky, looking up the thumb, and lean it down. Keep that right hip and shoulder going back. Breathing in and out. Doing really well. Keep those legs straight, relaxing with your breath. Now we lower that right arm down and then over the left leg. Two. 
I don't do this one too often, but it sure helps. That's for me. I'm not mountain bike riding today. Someone wants to be pretty sore. It's right in the massage, those areas. Okay, so you kind of go back and forth. Now for your hip flexor, or your IT band, sorry, you go to your side. Now we're still going to the knee to the hip. Right one foot in front, and we just go back and forth, keeping this leg up. If you'd like to have both feet out front, you're welcome to. More pressure on that muscle. That is tight. Okay? So let's do the other side. Okay, so that gets planted. Bottom leg is going to be up. On the back. You know how that's working that area? That maybe tight in your hips or on the outside of your leg. So you want to have that leg straight, you can do that too. Okay, so there. And then exercise you can do with your hips with a big foam roller. Now your low back, right here. You lean back onto it, you kind of do the same. You just go low back to middle back. Let your body drop back. If you feel you want to go to the upper back, you can do that as well. And behind the head, elbows not wide or closer. Exploring the area. If you're awake, keep those hips up. Walk your back. Sit. And work the lower back. You want your glutes with it. There's many things. You can do with this to help relieve low back pain that I hope you put into your practice to help you be able to get your body to function the way it should and get yourself to be more outdoors and do more activities and try to keep stretching at least three times a week for at least 20 minutes up to 60 minutes, okay? And my name is Urban Rude of UrbanRude.com. You and hear from you, and let me know what other videos you would like to hear from me as well, and how I can help you out. So be happy, be healthy, get fit, and get moving. I'll talk to you soon. And by the way, this is the time of season. Happy holidays. And, uh, and greetings to you and your family, and I look forward to helping you out, especially with the new year. We're going to ramp things up and do a lot more stuff online and get some classes going, okay? So I look forward to helping you and stay in contact. I'd love to hear from you. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye. Oh, one last plug. I do have courses on udemy.com forward slash exercises to relieve lower back pain as well. So if you need some help, go ahead and hit me up there. I can hear from you and see how I can help you out. Thanks again. Look forward to talking to you. Bye-bye.